For years, Mischief has been making wild and completely out there products, a lot of which are sneakers. But none of the shoes that they've made have taken the world by force the way that the Mischief Big Red Boot has. In fact, in the last few months that this boot has released, it's actually made a bigger impact on sneaker culture than pretty much any other release in 2023. It's been worn by celebrities, it's been used in photo shoots, it's one of the most iconic sneakers to drop this year. But is it actually a good boot? Let's find out. All right, I've got to say, this box is a little ridiculous. Goat sent me <laughs> these shoes in one of the biggest boxes I've ever gotten for anything, let alone shoes. It looks like Goat actually constructed this box out of two boxes. I've seen pairs of these in person. I've never seen the box in person. And as you guys know, Mischief is doing a restock of these shoes. So if you bought these, you can probably expect a pair in a box similar to this size. So I bought these for $385 ship. That's next day shipping, Goat instant ship. If I had bought them like from a regular Goat seller, I could have gotten them for under retail, but because I wanted to get this video out, even though, yes, these shoes did originally come out like five months ago, um, I decided to go next day shipping. I think I have all the tape cut. I'm not 100% sure on that. How did this open? Is there like a side that... Okay, I mean, to be fair, it makes sense why they packed this in such a large box, because the box inside is pretty large. Now, I've gotten things from Mischief in the past. Uh, I did not get these from Mischief, obviously, because I bought them on Go. Sorry for the loud noise. So here is the Mischief Big Red box. You've got the Big Red boot pressed into the top of it. Is there a size tag somewhere? Yes, there is. Right there. Size 9. Grab my true size. I don't know if this is going to fit. I've never tried on a pair in my size. I tried on a size 11 at Big Boy Chang's house. I don't think it made it into any videos, but I did try it on. That's the box, I promise. Here we go. <laughs> the whole reason I wanted to do this was because I wanted to find out whether the Big Red Boot is actually genuinely a decent piece of footwear. Because I've never actually owned a pair of these and I figured this is one of the most talked about sneakers of the year, or shoes of the year. I'd like to actually have a pair just to give you guys my thoughts. Because as a sneaker reviewer, I feel like that's important. We got these for probably about $800 cheaper than they were going for back when they first released. I think these shoes were like reselling for like $1,200 and now they're selling for just over retail. And with this restock coming soon, I think it'll be even less. So, the Big Red Boots. I. Why did I buy these? I didn't even want these. I don't know why I bought these. The packaging is nice, I will say. I'm sure shipping was expensive if you bought them for mischief, because these are not light. I mean, these are heavy boots. Very, very weighty. Ooh, they smell like glue and rubber and cherry a little bit. Not sure if that was on purpose, but. Let's try them on and see if they're as difficult to take off as it seems like they probably will be. Victor, give me your reaction on these. On what? What do you think? You're not saying it. I can see your face, but see the people behind the camera don't. What on earth? They've been out for a while, so it's you probably seen them online, but I actually haven't. You really haven't, haven't seen these online? No. How have you been online and not seen these? I don't know. My algorithm doesn't lead me to stuff like this. They're like Astro Boy boots, you know? Okay, well I'm gonna try these on. Apparently they're difficult to take off, so you might have to help me take them off. Oh gosh. Alright. Oh, I can see how they're gonna be difficult to take off. They're a little tight. I might not be able to get these off. It's just a duh. I'm gonna run a mile in these. I don't know if I told you that. Can you run a mile in normal shoes? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> They're actually pretty comfortable underfoot. I'm not gonna lie. They are very um, tight though, around the top of my foot. And uh, they this this is really going up against my shins in a, in a painful way. I should have played the show last week in these. That would've been great. <laughs> <laughs> are you about this look? Do you think I look sick in this outfit? I mean, as a joke. So not as a, you don't think I actually look sick in this? Here, let me, let me run across the deck really quick and see if I can do it. It's not very easy. All right, so it started raining, which I feel like is okay because at the end of the day, these are rain boots, essentially. So I stopped doing my try-on shots because the other camera that I used for the try-on shots probably couldn't survive the rain. One thing I'm realizing though, after wearing these for about five minutes, is that this area right here, right where my shins hit, that area sucks. That is a high wear area and I hate it. So this is gonna be a real bummer. I mean, walking in these, I feel like a duck. It's crazy. So uh, maybe I'll put some extra socks on. Maybe I'll grab some apothecary socks, pull them all the way up. I don't know. Actually now, the hardest part, in my opinion, or at least what I think is gonna be the hardest part, is taking them off. So let's figure out if we can actually do that. All right. Oh, it's easier than I thought, okay. Maybe if you grab the right size, you're okay. They're very heavy though. It's like that initial like, uh oh, I'm stuck. That really scared me, but now that I'm like past that, I feel like we're gonna be okay. There it is, there's the initial I'm stuck, and then we're okay, okay, good. Oh man, I could've just not done the review and it would've been fine. So as you guys have seen over the last couple days, I've been putting the big red boots through their paces, wearing them around pretty much every single day, all day, for as long as I possibly could without 
My shin's completely killing me. And in a lot of ways, I've been really surprised by this boot. I obviously knew that this thing was ridiculous and that the actual functionality of this boot would be limited because of its size and shape, but uh, it's actually not that bad of a boot. So if you're not familiar with Mischief, Mischief is a art collective that creates absolutely insane products and items that are specifically designed to get people's attention and be in a way, art pieces. I don't really think that anything that Mischief has made has been designed to be specifically functional. I think it's more designed to get people's reaction, to be more of an art piece, to be something that people really talk about. And as you probably know, some of the things that they've made have been more successful than others. Some things get a lot of attention, some things don't. And as I'm sure you've noticed from the countless social posts on the Big Red Boots, this is one of their most popular, if not their most popular item ever. The design of the Big Red Boots seems to be inspired by the design of Astro Boy's boots, one of the most iconic cartoon characters of all time, and also one of the very first animated characters in Japan ever. So the Big Red Boots officially released on February 16th, 2023 for a retail price of $350. Now when they first released, it is possible that these boots were a pre-order because they didn't ship until like three months later. And because of that, the resale price of these boots was in like the $1,200 to $1,600 range, which in my opinion is absolutely insane. However, now a couple months after release, now that everyone has their pairs in hand, and also now that there's been a restock on Mischief's website, which actually took place on the day of me filming this video, the resale price of these boots has dropped below retail. In fact, as of right now, you can grab a pair for around $300 in my size, a size nine. Actually looking at StockX right now, you can grab a pair for 248 bucks, which is like $100 under retail. Which hey, if you wanna grab an insanely ridiculous boot that people will probably make fun of you in, this is not a bad way to go, and if you guys want to grab a pair of these, I've made sure to leave affiliate links to these boots in the description below. So in order to find out if the Big Red boots are actually good boots, I wanted to conduct a series of tests. And the first test was the waterproof test. All right, let's see if they're waterproof. All right, so, test complete. So yes, obviously waterproof, which makes sense because the entire upper of the boot is covered in this TPU shell or TPU lining, which actually makes this boot very durable and very weather resistant on the outer shell of the boot. Speaking of the construction, if you guys want to check out the entire in-depth breakdown of this boot, I definitely recommend checking out Rose Anvil's video on this shoe where he actually cut it in half and you see all the different parts of the boot. The engineering that went into this design is pretty amazing. Like I never expected Mischief to actually go that much in depth into the design of the interior of this boot, but it seems like they might have had to in order to make this an actual wearable product. You'll understand when you see the video. The entire internal construction of this boot is absolutely insane. So if you guys want to check that video out, which I definitely recommend, make sure to click the link in the top of the description below. But essentially this entire boot is constructed of both TPU on the outer shell and also EVA foam. Although it looks like there might be this giant cavernous expanse inside this huge bulbous area, they're actually is this really nice footbed in there that fits my foot perfectly. And that's because this entire area of the boot has this foam skeleton, which helps the boot keep its shape because obviously if it was just a thin rubber, it wouldn't keep its shape and also helps cradle your foot. So your foot is not just kind of bouncing around inside this giant bulbous area. It's actually got this really nice place to kind of sit. And that's also the reason that it sometimes can be difficult to take your foot out because there really is almost a one-to-one -one foot shaped area inside this boot that uh, makes it easier to walk in, but very difficult to take off. Like the bottom part of the boot, the collar of the boot also maintains its shape because of foam. Now that also makes it pretty stiff and pretty rigid, which I guess is a good thing, but it does keep the boot in the shape that it's supposed to keep. Obviously when you wear it, it does flex and it kind of, obviously when you wear the boot, it flexes and it uh, kind of distorts a little bit, but once you stand up straight, it's pretty much back to its standard, straight up, simple boot shape. In fact, the only part of the boot that doesn't have a foam lining is actually this middle section, the shaft area or the tube area and uh, it kind of just is flexible, which is good because if it was completely filled with foam, you wouldn't be able to move, which would probably be a bad thing for a pair of wearable boots. Speaking of sizing, the Mischief Big Red Boot only comes in full sizes. So it only comes in eight, nine, 10, etc. I'm a size nine, so this shoe fit me fine. I grabbed a size nine. Fits pretty much one to one. If you are a full size, like a nine or a 10, I would recommend going with your true size. However, if you're a half size, I would say go a half size up. Go to the next full size up because this shoe can be difficult to get off your feet and if you go smaller than your foot actually is, it's gonna be almost impossible. So go up a half size, you should have an easier time getting it off your foot. And speaking of the comfort, this boot is actually surprisingly comfortable. Obviously not the top half of the boot because this boot actually measures like 15 inches tall according to Rose Anvil's video. I guess I could just measure it. All right, so mine is 14 and a half inches tall, which makes sense because he's a size 10, I'm a size nine, so mine's a little bit shorter. I mean, no matter what way you look at it, this is a very, very tall boot. And unless you have very thick legs to fill out the boot area, or maybe you're wearing, you know, a long pair of pants, it's gonna hit you in the shin and it's gonna hurt. But I guess that's something you either get used to the more that you wear it, I never did, or uh, it's something that you just kind of uh, deal with. So although I had problems 
comes with the top area of the boot. The bottom part of the boot was actually incredibly comfortable underfoot. Like I said, there is this EVA skeleton inside the shoe, which does make it very form fitting, but because I used EVA foam, it's actually pretty soft underfoot. And that comfort is also increased by the very soft and pretty thick foam insole. I mean, when you put your hand inside the boot to pull out the insole, it's actually pretty soft in there. Like there's a bunch of like very thick foam areas, but they're squishy and they're soft and they have a lot of give, which is nice. But here's the insole, it's surprisingly thick, surprisingly soft, and it feels really, really good underfoot. I would even consider throwing these in other shoes that I have because they might make some other shoes more comfortable. But then underneath the insole, you also have some more EVA foam directly underneath your foot, which has these holes all the way through, which apparently help with the molding process, but also make it a little bit softer underfoot. So while it's not like boost level comfort, it is relatively soft underfoot. It's not gonna blow your mind, but it is gonna be more comfortable than you probably would expect from a giant red boot. However, although these boots are relatively comfortable, more so than I would have expected, they are quite difficult to walk in. In fact, as you guys might have seen me earlier, I kind of walk like a duck and it doesn't get any better after walking in these for a couple hours. Maybe it does for some people. I saw that there were some other people out there on Instagram who could rock these pretty much with no issues, but I'm not one of those people. So maybe it just depends on your foot shape or your leg shape or whatever, but this did not work very well for me. I also was curious to find out whether I could actually drive in these shoes. Because hey, if you're buying them, you probably want to wear them to places that are not just your house. All right, let's try and run some errands in these. I'm a little concerned about driving, but we'll make it work. Ah, uh, no. My feet don't really fit. Pull the seat back. Is this gonna be possible? Is this stupid? This might be stupid. I did bring a change of shoes just in case it got too crazy. I could pull off and throw on some slides. I'm a little nervous. All right, I have to take them off. I couldn't even pull out of my driveway. I could literally only hit the brake. So, uh, I think just not a great driving shoe. I mean, I guess you'll just bring two pairs of shoes wherever you go if you have to drive, so there's that. But hey, I guess it could be worse. Now in terms of design, the big red boot is almost identical to the boots that Astro Boy wore. They're bright red, they're very tall, they are uh, rubber, and um, they're boots. Now one thing I found really interesting about these boots, other than the giant footprint, is that it's difficult to tell which side is for the right foot and which side is for the left foot. And the only way to really tell is to look at the bottom of the boots and kind of see where the curvature is. If you've got more of a curvature on the right side, it's the right shoe. If you've got more of a curvature on the left side, it's the left shoe. That was the only real way for me to tell without trying the boots on, which made it frustrating because I tried on the wrong boot more times than I'd like to admit. Finally, moving to the bottom of the boot, you've got this EVA outsole and very simple traction pattern. In fact, the EVA foam outsole is part of the same piece of EVA that's underneath your foot and acts as the cushion, so this will wear the same way that a foam outsole Nike sneaker wears. As you can see, the traction pattern of these boots is very similar to the traction pattern found on like an astronaut's boots. Very simple, very linear. And then of course, moving towards the heel, you've got the Mischief branding pressed into the EVA foam. And I guess that's pretty much all there is to it. It's a giant TPU foam boot. Obviously not designed for functionality, but designed to be something that people really stare at and really gets people's attention. I mean, it's not bad. It's more comfortable than I expected. It's actually surprisingly wearable for a giant red monolith of a boot, but it's not something I'd wear every day. But hey, that's just my own opinion. Let me know your thoughts on the big red boot in the comment section down below. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and I'll see you all in the next one.